Okay, so hi guys, Miss Lollipop, and welcome back to another one of my videos, or welcome to my channel if you are new. So obviously, as the title suggests, this is a video for your must-have mods of 2020, February, um, for gameplay. I said that really strangely, but it's fine. <laughs> We're going to be covering all my favourite mods, mods that I must have within my game for gameplay. These are things that help the game run better, um, different things that I feel like the game kind of missed out and I feel like these are kind of, they kind of need to be in my game for me to have the experience and the enjoyment that I like uh, and to be able to play the game the way that I like it. So I will leave the links to all of these mods in the description so if you guys want to go ahead and download any of these, the links will be in there so no worries about that, you guys will be able to go and get your hands on these mods. And go ahead and let me know if you've got any favorites out of this mod collection and also if you found this video helpful i'm also going to be doing a few other mods videos throughout the next few months um such as like you know for families um for you know single parents maybe like for different types of gameplay different sort of situations where you're going to use them um also for different packs as well so if i've got specific mods that i use for university which there are a few that i use for university i'm going to go ahead and do a university packs so if you guys have any of those packs and you want to improve on them and expand on them you can always go ahead and download any of those mods uh, let's go ahead and jump straight into the first mod and uh, of course it is the OG original MC command center now I know you probably heard so much about this mod because this is honestly the probably the one major mod that everybody has in their game like like most people I know have this mod the author of the mod is Deadpool and it's just as a brief overview of what the mod is um, it expands the functionality and story progression within the Sims 4 um, so obviously story progression allows you know Sims to have babies Sims to get married yada 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 sims around you will live their life which right now in the sims it that doesn't happen okay so it just it just doesn't happen which is real unfortunate it did in some of the other games but again you did have to have some mods in place for it to work um and again this is just like a sims 4 version for it as well so um this is the website that i'm showing you right now you can go ahead and head to the download section and as you can see we've got a few different release versions so depending on what game you've got you can go ahead and download those um, and different versions depending on you know what you want included in your game um, so these are all like the extras um, and it tells you what version it is certified for as well so normally it's always up to date make sure whenever a game update comes out you always make sure that this is up to date because this can uh, break your game if you don't have it up to date so definitely always make sure it is there so as with all the mods I'm gonna go ahead and show you my top three features things that I personally enjoy the most out of them and things that I think that other people would enjoy as well. There are loads and loads of other features, but these are just some of the main ones that stand out to me personally. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so my first favorite feature is the autonomous woohoo and babies. This includes marriages, proposals, and pregnancy around the town for your NPCs and if you have it enabled for your townies. The second feature is the ability to control pregnancy, the amount of baby girls, the amount of baby boys, the amount of children that you're going to be having, which trimester you're in. As you can see, you can select the amount of babies that you're having just here. You can specify the offspring amount, how many babies she's going to actually be having in total. You can end the pregnancy. You can also change the partner. So if you want to change it to a different male, you can also do that. Um, and you can also list the children that the Sim has already currently if you want to go ahead and find out any of that sort of business. And the third feature is the ability to populate the town with cute Sims. So as you can see in the settings that you go into by using the computer, I'm going to go ahead to to the import tray sim percent settings. So what this means is it's going to take any sims that are in your tray, which is basically your sims library that's saved. It's deciding the percentage of using those sims, um, which I always have it selected because obviously a lot of the sims are really cute. Um, the only thing I do warn you is definitely ha make sure you have a bunch of different sims within that tray because otherwise all of your sims are going to look exactly the same and it's just going to look really weird. But if you do want a bunch of cute looking sims that all have, you know, your CC around the town, it's the best way to go ahead and get it done other than creating them yourself and manually popping them all in. Okay, so up next is our second mod and this is UI Cheats Extensions. So this is a mod made by Werbisu. 
Wabesu. Oh god, I butcher every name. <laughs> um, either way, an overview of it is basically enables various cheats by clicking on the UI. So a bunch of different things work by you clicking on the UI in the game. Um, it's really, really, really useful, no matter even if you're a cheater, because don't get fooled by the name. UI cheats is not always just for cheating. There's a lot of things where it really does help improve the game when certain things are broken in the game. But I'll go ahead and cover those in my top three favorite features, because there are certain things, as we all know, EA just they just haven't fixed there's some features that are just not fixed within this game so we have mods to improve what EA can't the shade oh the T is scolding <laughs> okay I'll go ahead and jump right into the features that are my favorite Okay, so my first favorite feature within the game is the ability to drag the needs up, which is so, so, so useful if your sim can't find a toilet somewhere nearby or they really, really smell and it's just bothering you within the game. Sometimes you just need to fix things like that. It's so useful to be able to do that. So definitely this one is a need in case I need to fix something for like gameplay or stories. The second one is the ability to change the in-game time. You go ahead and head down to the bottom, right Right click on the time and it allows you to change the time to whatever time you like super useful for going back if you've missed a lot of time or going forward really really useful to have would definitely recommend <laughs> And the third feature is the ability to cheat goals, which I find personally, if you guys have got get to work, a lot of the goals when you go to work can sometimes be broken. So really, really useful to have this within your game because you can go ahead and right click on any single goal and just accept it and it will just cheat it up, which sometimes when the game's a bit broken, you might need to do this in order to, you know, accept something that you've already done. And you can do the same with the promotion and the skills section within the career tab as well. Okay, so moving on to our third mod is the Slice of Life mod. Now, you guys have probably heard quite a lot about this one because this is a must-have within your game for gameplay. Recently, it's been in a bunch of different updates. Um, it really, really has improved the way the game works. There is a lot of things that we were really lacking about families and development of sims, especially with teenagers and children and things. And there is just a bunch of features that I really, really enjoy on here. So this mod is made by Kawaii Stacey. Um, I love everything it comes with, specifically like the personality system. This is something that's really new love that absolutely love that and um, we've also got new emotions as well which is really cool uh, but to download it you just head all the way to the bottom you can go ahead and download that version and actually with this one you can just delete everything that you don't want so for example you've already got another you know you've already got maybe um you've already got base mentals alcohol system so you won't need the drunk system of slice of life you can just go ahead and delete that any of the things that you don't like within this you can always go ahead and delete and keep your favorite bits which is something that I absolutely love about this mod. But let's go ahead and jump right into my favorite features for this mod and yeah. So the first feature that I wanted to cover is the personality feature that comes with Slice of Life. This is so nice to have within the game. I feel like there hasn't been enough personalities within the game. So this adds the ability to have Sims that have a little bit more personality um, and come off with like different reactions and different feelings to each Sim. Um, so Sims with particular uh, personalities will build skills and will also build friendships better with other people. When you get a new sim, it will go ahead and analyze them as you can see by this Moodler and then pick the most appropriate personality for them when you start up your game. My second feature is the ability to have more moods. So as you can see, there is a lot more moodlets that the sim is feeling. She's really sick, so she's got a cough. She's also feeling really upset and she's also feeling really dazed. And all of this stuff is all being boosted because she feels so crap, realistically. Um, and she feels just really dizzy. Um, and yeah, I thought that was really cool. And the third feature is the memory system, which basically allows Sims to remember specific things that they've done, such as this Sim, remembering that she actually had woohoo, and then that giving her like a happy slash flirty, confident moodler. That is really cool to have. Okay, mod number four is of course by Kawaii Stacy because Kawaii Stacy has just been honestly pushing the boat out recently pushing the boat out i know these are some of the old mods but definitely with updates and stuff um they've been getting a lot a lot more developed so this is the explore mod again it's made by kawaii stacy and as an overview um it allows sims to leave the lot through rabbit holes and return with rewards etc um so various different things obviously you return through a rabbit hole um and then you can come back and as you can see here are some of the options you can come back with takeout you know you go out for pizza you'll come back with the pizza if you go out on an attraction or you go you know on holiday holiday or something like that you go for like um there is a holiday version of this one or like you, there there's a holiday option you can go on holiday and when they come back the sims feel really refreshed but bear in mind all of these places that you send your sims to you don't go with them so they go into off into a rabbit hole and you play with whatever sims are actually at home which is really really 
useful for family gameplay as well and um, but just general gameplay sometimes I don't always want to follow my sims when they go out for food you know sometimes I don't really want to play that whole situation out but I do want them to go get some food I want them to go and build a relationship with somebody or I've got a kid and I want them to go and you know study but I don't actually want to sit there and study with them because I'm lazy and I don't like studying real life <laughs> send them out with the education se section and they can just go and study themselves and the download again is always at the bottom and you can download it with or without ad flight for this one as well let's go ahead and jump right into my top three favorite features of this mod so my top three features for the explore mod number one is the ability to bring home takeout so as you can see we're going to have my mal sim head to moana's ice cream shop which is open for a certain amount of time and he will pay 12 simoleons to head off he's going to head on off out of the lot and then when he comes back as you can see he has brought back some delicious food with him and that will show up in his inventory and then we can just go ahead and click on it and we can go ahead and eat that and there is a bunch of different options for particular types of food as well my second favorite feature is the ability to explore with which is the ability to go and explore with another person so for example my male sim is going to be taking his little toddler daughter to the zoo and as you can see when he gets back he has a really really good mood look, and that will put him in a happy mood for the next day my third most favorite bit about this mod is the ability to take a sim away um, on a vacation or a holiday should we say so this allows my sim to go away on a holiday with his fiance with his wife and it will leave the teenagers the children and the toddlers all at home which i think is really really cool if you want to go ahead and do like a teen party where your sim has to where your teenager sort of has to like look over the house um, and that sort of situation and that way your main sims will get a break they'll get to go chill out and you'll get to play with the children and the teenagers a little bit more really really like this interaction and it's definitely a must have within my game okay so moving on to mod number five which is the education system bundle by kawaii stacy this is actually a new mod system that has only just came out a little while ago it came out on the 13th of the second so like we're on the 20th now so not that not too long ago um so this mod basically adds preschool mod it adds a better schools mod and it adds smarter homework so various different things that it can do is preschool edition basically allows your toddlers to go to preschool which is really useful because there are some things that we can have them do mainly it means that they build you know different sorts of skills while they're gone and the thing that i find is when you have toddlers in the sims 4 your sims are basically always looking after them that normally isn't always the case because actually in real life a lot of your toddlers will go off to preschool at some point so i like to have my gameplay sort of re resemble real life a little bit so i really like being able to send them to preschool plus i'm not a, i'm not a children's person you know i really do struggle with with kids in in real life and in the sims 4 which i know sounds really evil I'm probably the most unmaternal person in the world and I'm sorry, but you know, sometimes I just need a break, okay? And so do my Sims. <laughs> um, so you can send them to private school or you can send them to public school. Private school will cost you money and you'll also have to pay 50 million per day. Um, but obviously they get different things as well. Um, you also have the better schools mod which is really cool for having different sort of interactions at school being able to do like loads of different things flirt with classmates meet more you know meet more meet more of your classmates flirt with them play games on your phone just sort of different things and it also will make sure that your sims end up earning skills whilst they're at school which is very likely because I'm sorry but most of the time when you're at school that is where you learned your skills as a kid it's just what happens but either way <laughs> we'll go ahead and move on to my top three favorite features for this mod so the first feature that I'm going to be covering is the ability to enroll your toddlers in public or private preschool. So for the private preschool, it is 250 simoleons and then 50 simoleons every single time your sim actually sends your toddlers to school. Um, and for public school, obviously it is free and they all build skills whilst they are there as well. The feature number two is the ability to build skills at school and you get the ability to select more interactions. It allows you to make enemies, make friends, um, listen to the teacher and each thing has a different effect on your sim whilst they're at school. The third feature is the smarter homework, which basically gives your sims the ability to build skills whilst they're doing their homework, which is a very, very realistic thing to have in the game. I absolutely love this feature and I think it's definitely a lot more rewarding to do your homework when you can build skills from it as well. Okay, so rounding off to number six is our Meaningful Stories mod by Roberkey. So this mod is a really, really nice one to have because specifically I found in The Sims 4, they've really been struggling with their moods. Like Sims really do flip and flop between being happy and being sad. Like, you know, one of your Sims, right, is, is really sad about like, um, I don't know, like one of their parents have died or their sisters died or something like that. Some, there's been a death in the family. 
but they've had a baby so they're not even like sad like at all they're not they're not sad at all something like this mod actually um redesigns the mood system and emotion system for the sims 4 and it does a you know as you can read um it does a bunch of different things so if your sim gets into a depressive rut for days that takes plenty of effort and some help from their friends to overcome it so just because they've had a baby doesn't necessarily mean that they're gonna suddenly be happy straight away and they're not even gonna think about that sadness that they've got in the background so they won't have like as much happiness as you would expect them to because although they have a baby and that's amazing they've lost one of their family members which is a lot more you know it makes a lot more sense in real life and instead of them flipping back and forward between being really un unhappy and then being super ecstatic um it definitely balances out the moods a lot more um but it does take a bit more work to get them in better moods which does make the game harder but personally i really like it uh meaningful stories is a really really good mod and it definitely does develop on the whole mood system and I think it adds a lot more diversity, especially in like autonomous interactions. So if your sim goes up and has an argument with somebody because they're angry, they might be angry for a few days. So it's definitely like realistic things like that. I like to include a bunch of different mood systems within the game. Um, but for the install, you just head down here and go ahead and click download and you can go ahead and get this mod for yourself. But let's go ahead and move on to my top three favorite features for this one. So as you can see, our son currently feels no strong emotions. He's just feeling fine. But as he's about to walk past his dollhouse, he's gonna realize that somebody he's actually gone and beat it up and when he realizes that he actually gets in a really really sad mood and then gets really depressed for a while and you will struggle to find to get him out of this sad mood you'd actually have to do quite a lot of really um good interactions and really positive interactions to get him out of that rut as well uh the second feature that i found is the true happiness feature which is basically where a sim really has to be truly happy in order to feel happy by standard all sims will always feel fine but this one allows them to you know um, to boost it a little bit more and to feel ultra happy um, and you know all of these happy moods boost together and along with this the third feature which they're tied in together is combination of moods causes stronger or weaker effects as you can see she's feeling really really happy because all of her moodlets are happy and she's had no negative moodlets that are affecting those Okay, so we are on the seventh mod, so one from the final, and this mod is by Zero, and it's called the Selective Auto Chat, or NPCs Fuck Off, whatever one you want to call it. Um, so this one, oh my god, I literally just found this out, like, probably two weeks ago, and it is a must, must have okay so as an overview it will stop npcs joining your sims conversations right so if imagine you've got two sims right they're out on a date they are uh, you know at a restaurant right and then all of a sudden the person sitting next to you on the other table decides that they're just going to have a chat with you but it's not like they're just going to have a chat for like a second. They're going to say, hi, how's your dinner? And then that's it. They will literally sit there talking to you for the whole entire dinner. And this happens every single time I go out. And it is actually, it, it causes me so much pain and fury in my body when this happens because I'm like I just want to play out a story or I just want to focus on my sims and they've got NPCs that are just walking around like talking to them so um it stops a lot of these awkward awkward things that go along um but it does mean that NPCs can still talk together so NPCs will still go and talk with each other and you can go and join them but it will stop NPCs coming and talking to your sims when you're trying to get stuff done so this mod is definitely a must have for me and in terms of my top feature it's just one and it's thank god thank god that this was included but i'll go ahead and play like a little clip of you know what it kind of looks like within the game as well um because it's always worth you guys being able to see um that they don't just walk over to your sims because we do not like that and npcs need to fuck off this is exactly right perfect perfect title <laughs> Okay, so we are on the eighth and final mod, and this is the Wicked Whims mod by Turbo Driver. So this mod is a full realistic overhaul. So this adds so many different features, so many different features. I'll go ahead and click on the features and sort of just scroll down for you guys to see. So obviously this mod does include like sex and things like that but it, you have to actually download your own interactions and animations for that in order for that to sort of happen and um, personally i don't actually use it for all of that stuff because um i play a lot like you know with families and um i see i play a lot like you know on on camera and youtube will not allow me to do that you know and that's fine that's justified so i've gone ahead and installed which i can go ahead and show you how to get if you go into your downloads so if we scroll down here and we click the Wicked Winds censorship, sh censorship streamer mode, go ahead and open that. And this basically censors everything in the game. So it censors all nudity and sex gameplay and in Crater Sim as well, which is so, so useful. So if you don't want the whole 
you know, business of them be getting naked, you know, get them get all nasty, you know, which is fine. If you guys want that, go ahead and download that, you know, go ahead and download that shit. Don't even bother with this. But if you guys are like me and you need to record, personally, if I was in my own gameplay, I wouldn't really care that much. But if I'm going to record, I, I'm just not allowed it. So go ahead and download this and it censors all of that weird stuff. But then you always get the benefit of all the good features that it comes with. And it comes with so, so many good features that I just could not get rid of this gameplay mod anymore. It is so, so useful. Um, but I'll go ahead and jump right into my top three favorite features and um, yeah I hope you guys enjoy them because this is probably one of my most must-have mods out of this whole collection even though it's put eighth it's probably up there with like first second or third like definitely up there with the, with with the top level you know okay so feature number one is honestly the biggest reason why I have wicked whims installed in my game and why I never ever ever take it out it is the attractiveness system and it helps build relationships. So as you can see here, I've gone ahead and generated my Sims attractiveness features. Sometimes it generates them when you first start the game, but sometimes it doesn't. So I generate them based on most common attractive traits that are based um, in you know the Sims world. Um, and we go ahead and select that. And now my Sim has a few um, certain traits. So we can go in here and actually see what her preferred sex is, which is actually male. And it tells you uh, what you know the percentage of Sims in the world are like that her favorite um you know appearance is masculine appearance she dislikes ghosts um, and she doesn't really have any likes between anything else um, and they're basically some of the you know main features that we've got we've also got some eye colors here as well so she likes gray she likes light light green um, and she also likes dark brown eye colors as well which is really cool but she really dislikes unnatural eye colors so obviously she's not really into the whole contact and she's also not into blue eyes either so um, really cool to go ahead and select the second feature is the personalities feature which basically allows your sim to get impressions um, allows different personalities and their archetypes so as you can see the sim that she's talking to shows signs of the lover archetype um, our sim over here is actually a hero now probably the reason why it selected the hero archetype for her is because she's actually in the military she's actually a sergeant in the military so it makes sense that she's a bit of a hero but the other girl um, you know she is quite flirty with her she's quite uppity um, you know, it makes sims act differently depending on their personality that they've been given and it makes certain sims clicks better with other sims And as you can see here, there are a few different options You know, you can mention selfless generosity and things like that Depending on what sort of traits your sims got which is really cool because we always love new interactions within our game and the final final feature is the ability to have reactions to your sims having the woohoos um, and your sims can get upset so as we know the sims is honestly really bad at this and i'm glad that we've finally got some actual reactions from my sims and as you can see he's getting angry he's gonna go chew her out tell her what type of bee she is and he's actually gonna react to her cheating on him which is much more realistic than the sims game when they just walk in and continue to eat a bowl of cereal and just pretend that it didn't happen <laughs> So thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you guys found it useful and you found some mods that are new to your game and even if you know you've got some of these mods that are already in there maybe you learn a few new features from them maybe I covered a few different things that you didn't know were actually included um, that you now know that are included but go ahead and let me know what your verdict was go ahead and let me know in the comment section if there's any mods that you think that should have been in this video and of course stay tuned and subscribe if you want to see any more from me i'm going to be doing a bunch of different mod videos for different packs and things that i must have within my game further on especially when new mods get released and different sort of mod reviews um, and i also have a few series running on my channel so if you guys want to go ahead and subscribe i would really really appreciate that and as always if you guys enjoyed go ahead and leave a like on the video if you've got any questions leave them in the comment section below and if you just want to hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button you're going to notify every single time I upload which means you know it's one of my uploads and that is everything from me today I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will speak to you all later bye everyone